<laughs> Probably Margaret Thatcher, I would say. Um, I, I, I mentioned that I don't haven't agreed with everything she did, but it was about the determination about a woman in in a, in a Conservative Party at the time that thought a woman would, or in politics, in British politics at the time, that a woman would never come to lead a major political party. I mean, she she did that. She didn't think she'd do it that that would happen in her lifetime, but she did it personally. Uh, and it was about the way that uh, she changed the approach to politics uh, rather than um, seeking consensus just to keep everyone happy. She did what she felt was the right thing. Um, not, it wasn't always the right thing, clearly, but there was enough commitment and determination and belief that that was the right thing. And overall, I mean, I think history will judge her for ex uh, uh, positively. Not everyone thinks that in, uh, um, uh, in every part of the UK, uh, and certainly not in every part of Wales. Uh, uh, but I think that over time, history books will say, well, she changed so much, and I think the ultimate accolade is that when Labour came into power in 1997, they didn't change that much of what she did, union reform, about the uh, focus on inflation, about keeping the economy good finance. Tony Blair, when he was Prime Minister, stuck pretty closely to the fundamental principles that she set out in her policy, and whether Labour agree with that or not, I mean, to me, is a fact.